Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to you YouTubers. Today I'm going to be doing a video on how to achieve one of the best graphic settings that you can get uh, so far in the DayZ standalone early access game. I have been fiddling around with the graphic settings and been watching a lot of other videos about what people have been uh, trying to achieve and I noticed that there wasn't a lot of uh, videos for people who do have very decent computers. I've recently just built mine four months ago and the, all the uh, stats and specs for my computer will be in the description uh, and a lot of all the videos that I've watched have been to get average to below average computers to set up the best graphics looking wise for computers still achieving high FPS which is frames per second and I noticed there wasn't a lot of videos out there actually just going for uh, the looks of the game and how to achieve um, fantastic visual and um, fantastic immersions and to really be immersed into the game and so today I'm going to show you what I came up with. Um, this is all just tweaking for my own opinions uh, and you can change it to however you like. And this is my first YouTube video uh, tutorial so if any feedback will be welcome and tips and advice as well. So I'm just going to join a server, probably something with my ping that's sort of afternoon, yeah that'll do. And go through it with you. Okay, so here I am spawned in and I'm in a deer stand at the moment actually. That's interesting. Um, and straight away as you can see these are the settings that I have them at the moment. Um, the first thing I notice is the blades of the grass. Uh, they're not blurry and I'll show you uh, what I've seen that has been recommended and please don't get me wrong I am not saying that um, other videos are wrong or right. Uh, this is just personal preference for me and people who would like a look like this can just follow what I've been doing. Uh, and I hope that you get what you're looking for out of this uh, video. So I'll begin by going through some of the uh, video settings that I've set up to make the game look like this. Okay, so I've found a little shed here. Um, this uh, bushes, a line of a fence, so you can see some outlines, the power cables which is uh, a fantastic way to uh, see how your graphics is uh, processing and also to lots of you know, lag and all that kind of stuff. Um, but definitely the rendering resolutions and all that kind of stuff. I mean, the power lines as you can see on my screen are not breaking up when I move. They move very smoothly, the lines are fantastic, uh, even in the distance they're not breaking up, they don't disappear, and everything looks really smooth, which I really like. Very, um, if I'm going to play a... more so I believe this game is uh, definitely a survival, almost simulator, because they do a very good job of it considering it is still an alpha. I would like this game to look as real as possible. Um, my frames per second, for those who are interested, even though this video is not about that, is currently sitting at 50 to 55. It's sort of going jumping around from there. Uh, and this is on the best graphic settings that um, I think that I've set them at. So now I'm going to go through the video settings. Okay, so we go into menu, configure, uh, video, so I'll just go through the overall quality, um, just, you know, custom, because we're going to be changing it anyway, so we don't have to change it, uh, running resolution, this has to do with the game here, on the outside, so it's very important to have that to matching, um, your monitor, would not have it any more than 100 though, um, not just yet anyway, not, not, not while it's in the alpha versions. When the full game comes out, they're probably you know, going to max these settings out here um, so them to actually fit, but for the moment, the rendering resolution, um, I wouldn't have it any more than 100%, uh, and just really I wouldn't have it any more less. Remember, this video, guys, is for people with semi-good to really decent computer setups, uh, so you sh there should be no problems in handling this at all. 
the V-Sync is enabled. The reason why I enabled the V-Sync is it's short for vertical synchronization. What I noticed is when you disabled it, and a lot of people disagree with me because everyone, all the video, most of the videos I've watched have said disable that. The reason why is when you start vertically looking quickly, I noticed some lines that were going up on my screen um, when I was vertically looking. I mean, that could be for another reason, I could be completely wrong, but that's just what I noticed. As soon as I dis uh, enabled the V-Sync, the lines disappear completely, so I'm, I'm just going with the correlation there. The user interface is for this this box here. Uh, it's got nothing to do with the outside of the game, for the actual game, or the outside, like all here when you're playing. It's just this user interface. So the re resolution, um, you want to, you know, put it on 1920 and 1080. Uh, normal or small, it doesn't matter. Um, I'm doing it normal just so it's a bit bigger for the video. And yeah, the aspect ratio, I mean, depends on what you have, what you want to and all that kind of stuff, but 16.9, st default standard for most monitors. Textures, auto, keep that on auto. The computer will automatically um, assign the maximum amount of memory that the game needs to run. So I would leave that on auto. Texture detail, texture filtering, everything's on very high. And we go with quality, everything on very high. Quite simple, remember a very good computer can handle it no problem. The rendering is the most important option now. This is what took a lot of the tweaking. So currently I have it on very high, all trees and grass, FXAA low, HDR quality low, or very low. I mean, I haven't really seen much difference with that. I just kept it at low. You know, some people have opinions on that, whatever. Put it in the comment list and tell me why. Uh, Ambient inclusion disabled, post present quality disabled. Now, uh, if you want it a little bit more realistic, if you're looking for that realistic, put it on low or very low, and I will explain why and what that means. A lot of people just disable it. Uh, the bloom, look, I like it um, on. Some people turn it off completely. I do like it, again, for the realism approach. Uh, rotation blur, blur, I have it off. Um, I, you know, you don't. You don't really need it on, it doesn't really add to... It depends, that's a personal choice. These two are personal choices um, uh, on what you want. So yeah, that's the rendering is the most important thing. Now I'll go through each of them. Um, this you want on very high. This is the sharpness of the object edges. So for example, this pole here would not be nice and straight like that. Uh, the, the, the lines of the, the power lines would not be nice and straight. The fence would not be straight and just the sharpness of buildings, I think especially, like the roof here, uh, very important, have that on very high. Again, the computer can handle it, no problem at all. Now, the trees and grass is, uh, I've had people, um, heard people say that they just have either grass on or they disable it, but you see the quality of the grass, if you look here, you look at the quality of the grass, and you turn grass on, it just, it makes it look smooth, everything in the foreground is nice and sharp, you can see the blades, and as you go out into the background, um, it gets, you know, a little bit into the distance blurry, but you can still see little little spikes sticking up here on against the road. Uh, the trees, uh, I know people do turn that off so they can see between the trees, and I'll show you what I mean by that. Uh, if you turn this off and you look at a tree, you can see between the gaps of the trees a lot easier with this off. So if you see any movement or a player running through, when you do turn the tree, when it, you do turn it on, if you look over here, you do all trees and grass. It makes them a lot thicker. You can't really see what's going on behind them. Um, so I suppose people use that as an advantage. I don't know. Um, I put it on because that's what a tree is meant to look like, and again, this is for more of the realism approach and getting the full uh, immersion and the full graphics potential out of this game so far. So, uh, head bob, by the way, I turn off completely because uh, I don't play this really in first person a lot, and again, personal preference, whatever you guys want to do. So, rendering. So, all trees and grass. Um, if you're going to turn the trees off, I definitely recommend keep the grass on, guys, because I mean, that just that looks awful. It looks really awful. Uh, but 
that I have it on all trees and grass. Also, notice the difference in the background. The trees start to lose their quality and just don't look great. So you put all trees and grass, the distance, it looks fantastic in the distance there. Um, looks like a forest in the distance like you would expect to see in real life. Now, edge smoothing. This is really important. The reason why I have this on low. If I disable this, see how it goes blurry? Watch it here. But if I put it on, so I go from low, watch it here, disabled, blurry, disabled, blurry. Alright, if you put this on very high as well, blurry, low, really nice and sharp, you put SMMA very high, which I've seen people do this, blurry again, uh, normal, uh, it sort of doesn't really... I don't think there's much, any difference at all between low and normal because they haven't uh, put that into consideration yet, but that's okay, it's still an alpha. I'm sure they'll change that and there will actually be a slight difference um, between low, normal, high, very high, but at the moment I can't really see any difference at all, I could be wrong. HDR quality, I don't, don't, again, someone put a comment on about why you should change it very low to low probably something to do with the frames per second, but um, that's not the um, main reason for this video, so if that's the reasoning, then fine, put it in the comment, but, you know, not the reasoning for this video. Uh, the ambient occlusion, I disabled it, and I can't remember why I disabled it now, but let's not enable it. Oh, that's right, it does the light. So, the ambient occlusion, I um, disabled. Um, it was just a lighting thing, it just sort of makes, uh, if I go to maybe somewhere dark here, um, right here. Okay, you can't really notice it, uh, it's better when the sun's out, and at the moment it's raining in the game. Now, post-process quality. This has a lot of questions about this and what it does. I'm going to go up into the trees here to explain what this does. This is mainly when you're looking down the sights, what blurs and focuses. So if you're looking at a tree in the background, the foreground should blur. That's how our eyes see. Now at the moment with me having this disabled, if I go from, let's just say, the shed's actually a really good example. I'll go back to the shed and put that in view. Right, see the shed? It's really clear, and it's, when I go to this tree, the shed is still really clear, but this is more in the foreground, this tree. It's not in the background. Now, when I turn this off, if I look at this tree, you'll see the shed in the background. Rose pressing quality, that's what we're talking about. Alright, if I even just put that on normal, bang, really blurry in the background. I look at this tree and it's clear. And then I look over at the shed and that goes into focus and you can see the tree here will come out of focus. And then if I look over at this tree again, the tree comes into focus, out of focus, into focus, out of focus. This is what the post processing does. Now if you want the real, um, real realistic approach to it, uh, I would probably not put this on very high because it's ridiculously blurry around the edges. I mean, ridiculously blurry. You look at that. You look at the pole, and then I look at that tree, and you can see the pole again. Keep your eyes on this on on the electricity pole here. When I look at this tree, and it's in the left of the screen there. It's ridiculously blurry. I mean, look at the street. I mean, if I look at the street like that, and I'm trying to scout the area, very hard to see movement when it like it's so blurry. Uh, so I wouldn't have it that blurry. If you want to have this on. I would definitely recommend putting it on very low or even just low. Um, if you see it very low, the difference is quite astounding actually. Uh, if I. Oh, again, there's no difference. I meant low. Okay. You can see the tree there on the, on the right. Very low. Disabled. So there's no difference between disabled and very low. Not, not much anyway. Not that you can visually see just yet, but again, the alpha. Um, but low is when it starts now blurring. Um, post press quality level depth of field blur. So it's mainly when you're looking down the sights, this is what 
happens. Um, so yeah, if you want to have that one low, it's still, I mean, it's blurry on the outside, and your main focus is down your scope, which, you know, I do actually think is pretty cool. I mean, if you want, you know, the realism approach from this game, then that is pretty cool. I know a lot of people turn that off, though, to try and get the upper hand on other people. But really, I mean, you can still, you should still be able to see your weapon and all that kind of stuff there, and focus down your sides, so you're not even looking out there to shoot someone when they're in front of you. So, yeah, whatever. Disabled, enabled, doesn't matter. Personal preference. Okay, so on to the next thing, which is bloom and rotation blur. Like I was saying earlier, this is really a personal thing. It doesn't even really matter where you have it, um, to be honest. And I think that's about it, guys. Um, if there's anything else you'd like to see, you'd like me to explain something more, uh, please let me know in the comments below. And let me know what you think of the video as well. My other videos I have on my channel, I'm still in early days with my channel. I'm trying to add as much videos as I can. If you want me to see any other types of videos or um, a style of video, more tutorials, um, please let me know. There'll be lots of things on their way, so please stay tuned. And if you do want to keep an eye on me and see how I'm going and all that, then uh, you can always hit the little subscribe button. And that would be fantastic. Helps me out a lot, guys. And everyone have a good night, good day, good morning, wherever you are. And thank you for your support. I shall wear it always.